Holy shit. Okay. It's 6.30 a.m. Um, I had a pretty terrible night's sleep. Usually I sleep really well, but... Um, I don't know. Just did not sleep well last night. Um, just near Harvey Bay. Um, on my way up to Cairns. Um, I desperately need to go to the toilet. <laughs> so let's get today started. Um, after a... Well... The autofocus is gone. Really? That's better. Okay. Wow. I'm not even going to bother trying to do a take two. You can all laugh at that. Um, yeah, after I get ready and show you my setup and yeah, we'll go about the day. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't stop saying, ah, my girlfriend gets pissy at me about it all the time. Whenever I can't think of something, it's like, uh, and then I'm in the shit automatically. So have an awkward silence instead. The... So what I wanted to kind of do with the series now, um, other um, should probably just start a tally of them. So anyway, what I wanted to do with the series is rather than focusing entirely on motorsport and car stuff, um, try to do something a little more just following my life, which for the most part is probably kind of boring, but. I really want to use YouTube as a way to work on my speaking skills um, and also uh, help my confidence a little bit. I really hate talking in front of the camera. Uh, I think I sound like a dickhead most of the time. But, hey, so be it. I'm just going to be a dickhead on the internet. And who is it really? So anyway, getting back to it. We are on the way up to Cairns, well I'm on the way up to Cairns, there's no I'm sure anyone else here. Uh, so I'm on my way up to Cairns uh, for work. I've got to go and see a new agent, possibly, if I can fit that in. Um, and I've got a few jobs to do on the way. At the moment I'm heading out to Emerald, my first job is in the morning. I'm at a place called the Gemfields. It is a tiny little town which as the name suggests is populated because of the gem fields um, so I suppose if we're going to be talking about my life or you're going to be following the parts of my life that I can show you I should probably tell you what I do uh, I am a debt collector so I go around there's various types. There's the people that sit in an office and send out court documents and make phone calls and annoy the fuck out of people. Um, and then there's the other type, which is me. The type that goes out into the field and annoys every single person they come into contact with. So we do all of the field calls, which is attending someone's house and trying to get in touch and try and find out what's happening. Um, on behalf of banks and financial institutions. The other half is trying to um, just track down missing people. So if we've, a client has found a possible address, they'll ask us to go out and try and uh, get back in touch with whoever the borrower or subject is or customer. Um, we also do repossessions. Um, it's nothing at all like Operation Repo. Uh, 10, 15 years ago, it might have been a little bit like it, but nowadays it's just, everything's regulated. We can't do anything. So I'll, I'll go into more detail about that in another video, because um, I get a heap of interesting questions about debt collection and what we're allowed to do. Um, and there's a few other different things that we do, serving court documents, all that kind of, what people imagine is interesting because of Pineapple Express, which in reality is 
boring for 99% of the day and just involves me driving around. Um, this video I thought what I would do is show you what I get around in. Um, so I drive a 2016 Ford Ranger. It currently has 376,000 kilometers on it. Um, once I get into Emerald, I'll probably stop and do a walk around and explain the rest of it and show you the camping setup I've got in the back. Um, don't get angry at me, I'm probably going to put a truck in the title because Americans seem to think utilities are trucks. Don't ask me why, it's just, I mean they, they do lots of weird things so who knows. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys that, uh, and then maybe talk about some of the other stuff we've got planned coming up to do. Right, take it easy guys, hopefully that's not too boring, hopefully if you want to see more of this, please subscribe, hit like, um, and I'll try and make these more interesting as I go along. Right, thanks very much guys. Oh yeah, it's taken me two days to get to this stage, it has been raining basically the whole trip up um, or if it hasn't been raining it's been blowing a gale this is the first time it hasn't been doing either so um, I thought I'd do have to do something for this first video rather than just I um, mean it's still just talking um, but what I thought I would do is a quick run through of the Ranger um, so I suppose start down the front end it is a 2016, I think uh, purchased it September or October that year, brand new. Um, it is my daily sort of workhorse. About 30, 40,000 K ago, it did the engine. It went bang, um, did the oil pump and damaged some of the bearings, so had it fully rebuilt. At that time, we fitted a Garrett slash GCG high flow turbo, um, full three inch exhaust. Um, there was the guys at Sasside Cylinder Heads that did the engine and fitted the turbo. Um, myself and Kurt from Kurt's Works, I think he calls him, he's a mate, um, ended up doing the exhaust. Uh, we were going to make a custom one, but one of his suppliers does one and it was cheap enough, so just did that. Um, yeah, that's basically it engine-wise. Um, ultimate, du yeah. ultimate Diesel Tuning did the... Sorry, I need to look at myself to make sure that I'm actually recording, so ignore, ignore the uh, absolute mess this is. So Ultimate Diesel Tuning did the initial, well, did the tuning for it. Um, it ended up, I think from memory, it was about 95 or 100 kilowatts at the wheels and about 400 newton meters um, on the stock tune with the high flow turbo. Um, we did a tune just for towing, so it was, I'm just going to sit down for a little bit. Um, it was, it fit in this, um, it was just tuned for towing, so um, we didn't really chase a whole heap of power on it, it still has a stock intercooler because I couldn't afford to get one just yet, um, but it ended up making about 135 kilowatts, or almost 140 maybe whatever it was, um, and about 550 newton meters, so it was a decent upgrade. Um, it was mostly the torque, obviously, being a diesel. Um, it's an ultra safe tune. It, we've traveled, I think, 30 or 40,000 K since the tune was done. Haven't had a single issue. Um, there's a couple of check engine lights, ones for the EGR. Um, it's been coded out anyway, it doesn't work, uh, but it had an error from before the engine let go, I think it's stuck open or something. Um, 
But yes, I mean, that's pretty much it engine-wise. Uh, suspension, we just did ultimate diesel tuning as well. Um, hooked us up with an Outback Armour uh, trail adjustable front end and the heavy duty 300 kilogram constant load rear also adjustable um well, I'll, I'll insert a clip of the uh front upper control arm when we pulled it out it was well, the, the bushing was still there but the metal sleeve that it bolts through had decided to part ways with the rest of the bushing so it was slapping around um, a heap in there so we got picked up uh, 4x4 mods Australia uh, supplied us and managed to get to us same day um, some, I think KB or adjustable upper arms wasn't really sure we just grabbed them quickly and got them fitted um, so yeah that was a 2 inch lift so much better the original suspension had 380,000 oh yeah uh, the, it has 376 or 377,000 K on the clock now. So it still had the original suspension in it. So it was shit. Absolutely terrible to drive. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just, it's been set up for work. So I work as obviously work as a debt collector. Um, I spend, as you can tell by the K's, my whole, basically my whole life out on the road trying to, trying to chase people down and get results on jobs. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you the setup. So, go back to not looking at my face. Um, so I started at the front. Should I just grab the keys? And, uh, it's gonna turn on without it. Hold on. If it decides to see how many K's it's got, ignore the annoying noise. Um, so in here, uh, it's just got a iPad holder for the tablet. I've got all of my work stuff down in the box. It's like all scissors, like stationery, calling cards to leave at people's places, uh, laptop sitting there. Um, then into the back, it's a little bit of a mess because I'm just setting up for the night. Um, but I've got the printer there, uh, fridge in behind me, um, some of my camera gear, drone, and a couple other things in there. Um, so that's basically it inside. In the back, um, there is dual, oh, two additional 120 amp hour kick ass batteries. They weigh an absolute fuckload. I wish I had it just bought. Spent the extra money on a lithium ion set up with similar or maybe just slightly less um, capacity but it is what it is um, so in the back is so basically I got a set of King's drawers um, myself and my neighbor knocked up a flat floor for it which you can see there um, it's way too short I'm 6'5 and the bed is only 150 centimeters um, so, for the moment, um, I haven't really got a solution for extending it other than all I do is I pull the drawers out and it gives some support to it. It's not too bad, it works for the moment. Uh, the plan is to make another storage box for it, um, just so it's a little more comfortable and I will show, I'll upload a photo somewhere um, so you can see got basically 3xm I think it is makes a canopy like tent basically to go over the top um, so it kind of gives me some protection and a little bit of privacy I kind of want to get a van one day <laughs> so I can do away with it um, down on the left there I have my shoes and when I'm camped up for the night I pull out uh, like I put my camping chair bag and uh, sleeping bag cover in there um, and then here's the drawers so I've still got I need some more storage so I've, I've got a couple of ideas for that which I might talk about or show you when we do it so gas stove or portable gas stove um, the uh, 
butane gas. Then here I have all my cutlery, chopping boards, uh, sandwich bags, uh, salt and pepper, just some basics. Then I've got a kettle, because the half English part of me apparently has to have tea all the time. Um, and then some uh, shakers and a blender. The blend jet is awesome. So I'll chuck protein or um, any of my supplements in there, blend it up, and then chuck it into one of the bigger containers and like, chuck a little bit extra. Sorry, there's a truck going past. Uh, chuck some milk or water in there to just top it up. Um, and then it's just the cleaning stuff. So some sponges and whatever else. I think that's pretty much it in that one. It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, the drawer system doesn't work very well. Fairly stereotypical Titan slash four-wheel drive super center shit. It doesn't actually work that well. Although the canvas bags are, are pretty cool. So in this one, I have all my stationery. Ah, sorry, not stationery. Uh, wow, where is my head at? Uh, all my toiletries. So this one has like some of my dental stuff. There's masks because of the thing that we can't talk about. Uh, gloves. Um, some of the medication like Panadol, all that kind of stuff. Next bag has, that's all my t uh, toiletries, so aftershave, deodorant, um, scissors, uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, mouthwash, all, everything. Um, it's not very excited, but I found this is, like I break it up into what I need, so like I have stuff for the shower, and stuff for tidying up, like basically grooming, in other words. Uh, the rest of it is, so I've got the recovery kit down the back, um, which you can just see down there. Um, then the tools for the actual ute. Um, the a, uh, first aid kit and then just uh, some other tools and electrical stuff in there. Um, that's pretty much it. I suppose the last thing I kind of want to cover is the work that Whitey did. Um, Sam from Whitey's Wiring and his guys, uh, it's a little dusty in there. Um, did the dual battery setup, this is the second one they did for me. Um, mounted all the uh, accessories. Uh, it's all set up for solar if I ever want it. Um, it's Anderson plugged down here. So if I have, uh, hold on. Not gonna be able to see it at this time of night, um, but there is, yeah, Anderson plugs down there to quick disconnect it. Um, they were looking a little wonky down there. Uh, I've finally got this ratchet strapped in at the moment. I need to make a new base for it. In the back behind the fridge, once again, excuse on the mess, um, is a 2000 watt inverter so that runs all the charges uh computer printer basically everything i kind of need um and then down there i keep a 15 liter jug of water so sometimes i'll head out to places like weeper uh man eyes or some of those kind of areas you don't really want to be without water um because you're can be a couple hundred k away from civilization. Um, not so much when you're on the main highway, but when you're sort of coming around. As trucks going by. Um, yeah, so when you're kind of on some of the off roads, some of the dirt tracks, you might not, you might see one person or two people a day, um, or at least for five or six hours while you're kind of traveling. So if you get stuck out there, you might not see anyone for quite some time. So it's always a good idea to have some spare water and food. Um, yeah, I know it's not very exciting, it's the first video, but it's something to try and get the ball rolling on this. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to, even dislike if you think this is absolutely fucking terrible. Um, it all apparently works with the YouTube algorithm, so yeah, that's it. Alright, take it easy guys, thanks very much.